Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. If you're not new, thanks so much for coming back. It always means the world to me. So I'm here today with another video of the five surprising sales from last week. So I, if you are new to the channel, I try to pick five, only five sales from the previous week to highlight and share why it surprised me, whether it took too long, whether it sold quickly, maybe it sold for more than I expected or less than I expected. So it's just a way to share some of my sales, keep things brief and um, give a little backstory to each one. So I am a little uh, under the weather. I'm getting over a head cold. I don't get sick very often, but I was trying to hold out for as long as possible to film a video, but I, I just needed to move on. So hopefully I don't cough and I do have some water just in case. But uh, we'll get started. If you aren't already subscribed and you like reseller content, specifically around eBay, Poshmark, uh, definitely feel free to check out my other videos or hit the subscribe button down below. And uh, if you like this video and this series, the thumbs up means a lot to me. So uh, yeah, feel free to hit that as well. So the first surprising sale of last week was a pair of Adidas Samba shoes. I found these recently at the bins and um, now my dog decided to start chewing on a bone. So you might hear that in the background as well. Also, neighbors are doing weed clearance. So all sorts of noises, we're gonna move on. Uh, but these Adidas Samba shoes, when you look up comps for just Adidas Samba shoes, or when I did, uh, the comps ranged, but uh, these were a little bit more unique because they were kind of black stripes on a black pair of shoes. And when I nail, or when I kind of looked into comps specifically for that, that color style, the comps were significantly higher. So I think in the video, this was in a recent video haul, I think in the video I said I was hoping to get about 50 to 60, and these sold quickly. They sold on eBay. I had them listed for $70. I got an offer pretty soon. It was within a couple days of listing it for, uh, I think it was $40 and uh, which was too low for me, especially on eBay because I do offer free shipping and shoes are not cheap to ship. Uh, I countered, I think I countered at the lowest I would take, which was about 20% off, and um, he countered again. And I actually had this happen a couple times last week. Uh, I don't mind when people counter, it's all a big negotiation, but sometimes it gets under my skin when someone counters just a few dollars less than what you offered them. But if the buyer thinks that they're gonna get even even a better deal and they're gonna give you a positive rating, um, I'll just let that kind of sit under my skin and kind of move on and just remember that a sale is a sale. And uh, so I countered with, I think, 54. He countered back with 50. And I quickly accepted and got those shipped off. And so yeah, so quick sale, a bin's find, um, and it was within the range that I was hoping for. So that's always great. The second item was in a recent haul as well. It was a Wee Bee Bop floral pink shirt. Um, and I picked this up. I've been going to some different locations of Goodwill outlets recently. And this location I wasn't all that excited or jazzed about. It was, uh, I think I explained it, they had like mounds of clothes and you just couldn't really dig through easily. It was really hard. I did find teaks at this location, so it wasn't a complete bust, but I definitely picked up some stuff that um, I wasn't I wasn't confident in. And this was one of those items that I just, I it's pink, it's floral, it's buttoned down, it's a size 4X, but the brand and just, I didn't know. And so I gave it a shot and it sold within a day for full asking price on eBay for $29.48. And uh, even when you remove the fees and the shipping for kind of this lightweight item, it's still a great return and a quick flip. And definitely just is goes to show why I try to pick up a variety of things um, because you just I just never know. And uh, sometimes you can look at the sale through rate and you can look at uh, the comps and um, those tell certain stories, but sometimes it's good for me to just try things on my own and see how they do. So I was really excited about that sale and I'll continue to pick up strange things that I'm not 100% confident in and uh, keep learning. So the third surprising sale from last week was another Ben's find. It was a Alexander Wang, the designer. It was a uh, white long sleeve but cropped sweater. So it kind of 
uh, went kind of right under the bust is where it tied. And it appeared based off the tie that it was kind of a wraparound, so it would tie a couple times. Uh, I had a hard time taking a photo of this because it was before I had a mannequin. So I think I just tied it in the front and mentioned that it was kind of a wraparound style. But this has been sitting for a couple months. It did have a little bit of interest. This one I was kind of worried about because the tag on it said Alexander Wang, just his name, not the Alexander Wang T, which is his uh, common line that he, he carries right now or that he does right now. So I wasn't sure if this was kind of part of his original line. I had a hard time pricing. Do I price really high? Do I price according to the T line? I, I was just kind of all over the place. Finally, I got it listed a couple months ago, a month and a half ago. And it, so it, it, I, I, I'm happy it sold. It sold for $65. I was asking 75. It sold on Poshmark. Uh, it, it was definitely kind of a spring summer kind of sweater. So I'm not surprised that it, it didn't sell when it was still kind of snowy and wintry, but, uh, yeah. So I guess the pricing I, I was okay. I was happy to get a reasonable offer and, um, it just, it was a hard one for me, and so I was just kind of surprised to see it sell for a reasonable price based off of the comps that I, I kind of guesstimated. So uh, I think some of the other ones, similar, but the T-line were more like in the 30s and 40s. So again, I aimed high, and I think it paid off. So the fourth surprising sale of last week was probably a brand that many people are familiar with and have found and sold. And I, this is my first. So this was Seven for All Mankind, and it was the Dojo Jeans. I think when I started reselling uh, last July, I would see people post the dojos and it was kind of this bolo and not even a bolo. It was just like everyone knew that dojos were just consistent sellers. I did see some people say that it was starting to fade off a little bit as with probably most items, but I found a pair finally a, a few months ago and I was excited because I was like, okay, great. Everyone gets excited about these. These did have a little bit of wear at the back of the hem on the um on the bottom but they uh <laughs> my dog is going to town sorry guys but uh they they did have a little bit of wear but it definitely wasn't major it wasn't as bad or tragic as i've seen on on some of the and bottoms of pants so i think i originally uh, no i think i started them and kept them at at 50 and then i brought them down to 45 i did a 10 percent closet clear out one time and so they were sitting at 45 for a couple months and I mean, they had a little bit of interest, and I think in the world of dojos, I was pricing according to a little bit of the wear, but I was just surprised that I didn't even get any lowball offers. Uh, I guess it was just one of those things that I thought was going to fly, and with that wear, I was willing to kind of take a lower offer, but I just didn't get any, so that one just surprised me, and uh, I don't know. I, I, I think if they were in good condition, I might pick them up still, especially at the bins, but um, I was just less than impressed with the brand that I was kind of excited to find because everyone got excited about. But uh, just goes to show some things sell other really well for other people and some things don't sell the same for me. So, or things change. So the fifth surprising sale of last week was in a recent haul as well. And this was a Tommy Bahama, kind of a navy floral, really large tote bag. Uh, kind of, a, it was a travel bag or a beach bag, really large and just in great condition. I found this at another location. Again, not a stellar day at the bins. I, I walked away with just 30 items as opposed to 100 items. And uh, I was excited about this tote though because I knew it was in great condition. My dog decided to go to the other side of the room. So maybe, maybe you caught, caught her tail. Uh, but it sold within a couple days on Poshmark uh, and it sold for $40. I got an offer for $40 and I had it listed at 50. The one thing I will say I learned of this is it was really large and oh, I don't have any shipping supplies. So I had to actually go and find a box big enough just to, because I couldn't fold it. So anyways, those were my five surprising sales from last week. If you enjoyed this video, definitely feel free to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys.